So uh, we just thought we'd um, like spice this um, panel up a little bit. Yeah. Just because it's the last panel of the day, I think. So we've. Um, do you want to just grab that door for us? We've just got a couple of uh, special guests that we're going to join. Just to finish this panel strong, right? Yeah. Just a couple of ladies. A couple of ladies. They're very attractive. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't think you guys mind if they crashed it. <laughs> this is us. This is going to be another question session from you guys too. So we're good to go. We can just say whatever you guys want to get out and we'll just talk shit for 45 minutes. It was like a little harness we had to step into. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It was like a harness, and then they the, they had the bolt things there and there, but then they were sort of attached. They were attached with like straps, and then yeah, it was just like a harness. It was just like in between. You just put your feet down. You're hanging up. It's easy. So yeah. you were actually on a like a built. Yeah. It wasn't green screen. No, no, no. Like they built that. the crosses. They built. Oh, yeah, they okay. built all that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you never yeah. know anymore. I sent pictures to my mum. She was like, No, I don't want to see each other. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Next question. Yes. <laughs> this is for Liam, Todd, and Christian. What was it like? What was the feeling like to smash somebody in the face with an urn and also to take an urn in the face? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the urn, they, the urn they actually do like a, a, they cheat it. I didn't actually ever have to do the break. So they did like four different shots. One's with like a dummy. So they crash it over a dummy's face, which is all green. Then they do a, Christian did a swing where he doesn't hit anything, so it's just his arm swinging. And then I had to do a reaction as if I'd been hit in the face, and I had to swing towards the camera and like have it look like I was trying to recover. And then they did one where they filled it up with wine and did and did a it did a crush hit on on like a little object, so the thing actually broke apart. And then they merged all those four shots together to make it look like it hits me in the face. Yeah, that's incredible. The last yeah. one was a it's like a. It was a little pole with a, with a little, just a head on it. So, I mean, that was fun to do. Cause <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that was fun to do because I actually had to smash it. Um, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, go on. Go on. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, mine was against mine, so we did it for real. Um, <laughs> no, no, it's actually, it was exactly the same. It was exactly the same as Todd, so we did it for real. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, was just, I don't know how they actually do that, because I'm like, how can you use all this stuff where you pretend, like, getting pretend smashed in the face is great. <laughs> just like, <laughs> blood pouring out of your mouth yeah. and stuff. You're like, ah, glad it's not real. We push it sometimes, though. I remember in the Crixus scene, spoiler alert, when, um, <laughs> episode eight, when the spear goes into the back. Um, that's obviously, there's different things you have to do. You go through the side, and then they... They cut through and you have a retractable one that just kind of, once it, once it makes impact with the back, it just goes in within itself. Um, and I would be, you know, you make making contact with him and he'd turn around and he'd say, Brother, you've got to do it properly. I've got to feel this. I've got to feel this. <laughs> and I would be so scared because it was, it was such a big moment for him and for the scene and for the series. But there were times I was genuinely putting a herd on his back and he like he wanted it that's what he wanted you know what I mean he wanted to have that kind of impact and it was retractable so there wasn't that much you know it was a metal thing and it wasn't sharp but he was really telling me to go for it I had to I was hesitant at first but he just stabbed him after that yeah right. bang no but you know that's the level of commitment that, that yeah no, they, I had to like I had to like stab Craig Parker through the mouth. Oh, that was yeah. like, you know, and all he had was a mouth guard with a retractable sword in it. He's like, that's okay, I just do it. And I'm like, this could go super wrong for you, buddy. <laughs> okay. That's fine, it's, it's, it's fine. And it's like, like, you're alive? Yeah, that's an interesting moment. Safety. Safety first. Next question, yes. I have a question. Uh, Manu was telling us last night about the scene with him and Navio and he gets to camp 
precipitated and all. And he said that, or he was talking about the one with him and Lucretia. And I wanted to know from you guys, because he had, he said he did a, that scene where he wasn't actually supposed to put his mouth, hand on her mouth and then stab her, that she had some more lines. So I was wondering if it was like an ad like an you know, like it wasn't scripted. So yeah. did you guys have anything that you guys did that was actually not scripted? Every time I've tried to go off script, I got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's and the, the. Yeah, you said the instead of this. Yeah, right, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Mono scripted for us a special outtake scene about Gannicus's hair and being a princess or something. I was like, what, what are we doing? No, no, mate, you, um, you, you, you look at me and go, who is that? You know, well, I'm, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go like, oh, this fair mate. I was like, just uh, lunch and lunch. Like, yeah, cool, man. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. That'll be fun. Made the outtakes. It was good. I was like, did you ever see the blooper reel? It was such a disappointment. Oh man, we like every year they put on like a blooper reel. Which was like the worst bloopers. Like we did some hilariously dumb stuff, and they put this really safe blooper reel on. We'd be like, "What? Like, come on, that's not bloopery. That's like, it was like, are you worried you're going to offend someone, or someone's going to watch it? And go, this show looks stupid. Um, <laughs> more than normal. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It was like, I was. Uh, there's got to be some good outtakes somewhere. There. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Right, this is when you try and get uh, Simon Crassus on an outtake because he's okay. he's theatre theatre based and he's you know his process is so intense and he's so serious at the time that when you get him to break he's so disappointed in himself <laughs> yes. and then eventually he becomes the one who just can't get it together. And I'm talking twenty minutes, half an hour. I think we did a promo shoot where we had to walk through the hall at the start of the year. Oh yeah. And the photographer walked off the set. <laughs> no. He was literally starting to walk he was like, guys, what are we doing right now? And we could not get it together. That American photographer? Yeah. Dude, he was yeah. 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 It was myself, Todd, uh, Simon walking through. Yeah. Yeah, that's not war. the hardest job. Yeah. The war. Yeah, that's I've done that before. I've done that. <laughs> yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that was it. I think it was the simplicity of it. We went, surely we can't screw this up. <laughs> yeah. Walked off the set. He was he was about to. He was oh. beginning to walk off off the. the set. He like got yeah. He was on a ladder or something, so he had to get yeah. a high angle shot. Yeah. And he just got pissed off and got down to wait for us to chill out because we just wow. kept losing it. Wow. Next question. Oh, that was fast. Right here. Yes, red lipstick. Um, was Lugo everyone's favorite character? Yeah. Who? Lugo. Oh yeah, he's the best. <laughs> Wish I gave him more dialogue. The only reason Lugo was a character, alright? <laughs> because I gave him a whole shit of lines and all of a sudden he got to start talking again. You know, just lines that I didn't want. Barry, that's, that's all Barry's lines. <laughs> They're kind of secondhand Gannicus lines, really. If, if you really study them. <laughs> he was great. Yeah, we, we all... We all, we all loved him. Yeah. He, the cleanest theater I've ever seen. Like, he would have... Uh, like no carbs ever. It's like, dude, you eat cleaner than Tyrone. I don't even understand that's possible. Yeah, yeah it's super intense. Yeah. Oh, Next yeah. one on the right. Yep. Boom. Dustin, I have a question for you. Yes. One of the funnest arena things that you attended was when you're in a fight and you use the wall and you jump up the wall and you come down and you oh. take out your opponent. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's like one of the most exciting things that you can see in the arena fight that's different than just being on flat ground. My question is, was that you doing it, and how many takes did it do to make that look so effectively real? Well, there was one in the fight that Liam and I had, that was one take. Yeah, you one take that, I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple of back practice runs for yourself, then I walked up, I was like, all right, I'm ready for the next, next hour and a half. <laughs> I think I mean, you might have done it again because I didn't react. I was like... Oh, sorry, dude, that was probably hard. <laughs> <laughs> do it right this time. Oh, the, it was cool because that first arena in God's City Arena, you, we could get inside it and um, and it was it was uh, we could use it, you know. So the the, the stunt coordinator came up with all that stuff, and he was like, "I've got this idea where he, he uses the walls and stuff to incorporate that into his." Um, you know, in his ability to attack people, so he thinks outside cool. the box. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was really, really cool with all the garb he had on and the sword. And to be 
balanced and looked at myself. Oh, look, in the, that first arena one, I did have a, um, I did have a wire, yeah. but not in, you know, oh, yeah, in the yeah, second Yeah, because one. they tried to set you up with a wire in our one, and you were doing that. That's, that's what all the practices were. Yeah, you were doing it with a wire, and then they were, and you were like, I'll just do it without it, and you did it better without it. it, was, that was, it I can back that up. It was legitimately awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Dustin. Um, next question. Regretting this yet, mate? <laughs> yeah, project. Yeah, this is supposed to be Todd's panel, so let's let's get a few directed at Todd. Yeah, if he feels left out. No, no, no. Keep, keep. No, um, this is for all of you, actually. No, if you ask Todd a question, I'll sign this and give it to you. <laughs> Even if you don't want it. <laughs> Alright. Um, aside from the butt fucking scene, which all of us love now, and I cannot look at that scene without doesn't You're pointing at me like I was in a. <laughs> Can I just clarify that no, I wasn't? It's a line that Daniel Furigal somehow gets out of his. I think that's going to be known as for, for forever as the butt fucking scene. Yeah. Fucking no, they do one. <laughs> I was doing some serious acting in there. That, that, don't worry about it. <laughs> that, that's real. That's real. Uh, real talent. But is there a certain serious scene where, when you watch it, you can't help but laugh because of what happens? What had happened behind the scenes? Because right now we know that story, so every time we watch it, it you know we crack the fuck up. But for you guys, is there a particular scene in the series when you're sitting down and watching it where you cannot? Keep yeah. Your face? Um, first time um, Caesar comes on screen. <laughs> Fucking wet myself because I always just think, how did this guy? I mean, how did he get employed? How did he fit in the hallway? <laughs> So, 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 yeah, that's from me all the I time. I just love watching your fights and you trying to use your sword all the time. It's so funny. It's the doubles. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I actually had one in um, when we were in the uh, in the palace in, in, at Crash's at Crash's crew, um, and I had to walk in on a scene with Todd, a couple of ladies, and eating. It was just a bit of banter. Uh, and we had blocked it that the extras weren't there at the time. Um, so then we did the first run was on tape. TJ, TJ was like, yeah, let's do it, let's go. So I walked through the corridor, go around the corner into the door. Didn't really know because they had changed the blocking a bit. Todd's there completely naked with two completely like, naked women. <laughs> were, were they like, rolling or was that grapes? Tape? To eat. And I stood there, completely forgot my line. I walked straight out. <laughs> straight out. And I said, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I said, can you tell Todd that we're about to shoot? What's he doing with his <laughs> Could costume, instead of giving him grapes, could costume get him some clothes? Or what? Every time we did, like most times we, Christian and I did a scene because we were mates like, and we have to hate each other. We, we were, we were, it's called corpsing, whenever you laugh yeah. at the set and hate each other. There were so many moments where we had to pull it together because I'm looking at... And there's, look, you got to also remember, like, we come, we're hanging out outside and, you know, just chilling on the weekend. and stuff. What? Texting and whatever. Yeah, texting and shit, one better. <laughs> and then, um, you know, we come to set, we put armor on, and I've got to pretend I'm Caesar, and he's pretending he's Tiberius. And sometimes you just catch yourself going, the fuck are we doing, bro? Like, there's heaps of crew around, we've got swords that are rubber, pretending like we're attacking each other, and you just clock it for a second, just go, this is ludicrous. Like, it's dope, it's insane, but there's obviously also a bit of... I don't know, this, you, you catch yourself and you think this is your career, like you just put a fake plastic leather suit on and pretend that you're some big warlord from 2000 years ago and then you have to pretend I'm that in front of Christian. There's something I want to tell you about acting, that's, that's, the, that's the whole job. <laughs> I do it all the time with every role, I'll catch myself going, what is this job that you're doing? <laughs> Best moment ever though, I'm talking about Barry. Um, <laughs> in like the one of the last scenes where we're happy, but just before the big battle, I have to do a bunch of life saga. So like, um, oh, it's before episode eight, and like Agron's about to go away, with Chris is about to go away, all this stuff. Spoiler alert. Um, a bunch of stuff happens. Um, and then like, 
every time I had to walk in and there's like this big orgy going on because it's Spartacus, it's what you do. And there's like, all I could remember, as I was walking in sternly to be like, I've got to have a chat to Crixus, we have to talk about something. And uh, it's just seeing Barry's face in a pool of naked women. <laughs> Lugo has never been so happy. Missing a tooth, just having a great time. Missing his little tooth, poor bugger. God, I've never seen a happier human being. Great moment. It's one of the most I spent nine months crying. You did, didn't you? <laughs> you did. One episode where she's like, oh, I'm just happy now, everything goes to shit. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. <laughs> this is Moshina. First of all, I love it when you start Tiberius. <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah. <laughs> for me, it was excellent. How was it for you working with this man? <laughs> it was really shit. Like I was trying to be serious the whole time. No, no, it was great. It was awesome. Yeah. 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 I got to work with you a little tiny bit. No, a tiny bit. I just got to die with you. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
screws with me all the time because I had only auditioned once through a tape and sent it overseas from from Sydney and obviously got to LA to the producers and uh, you know usually go through more process so I thought I was just calling he's like hey man how you doing I was like oh cool just with my family he's like oh, okay cool how'd the audition go I was like oh yeah it actually felt pretty good like the only problem is I'd been up to like 4am the night before I'd like this, sorry, it'll go on for a little bit. I witnessed an assault behind the house that I was staying at. This um, young woman was getting like kicked by this dude. We ran out with shovels to stop him. He took off, cops shovels? came. Shovels? Yeah. <laughs> he was like six foot eight. I was like, I'm, not, I'm not gonna fight him unless I have a shovel. So three of us ran outside, literally. We're from Australia, we don't have guns, we have shovels. Yeah. <laughs> For us. <laughs> it's no lie. Cops came. They obviously had to question all of us, work it out. We were looking after the, the girl. Um, and they had to work out whether they are going to press charges, what he looked like, blah, blah, blah. I went to bed at 4 a.m., didn't really look at the script, woke up at 8.30 for my audition, went in, taped it, didn't really know my lines. Told them in the thing, and I was like, I'm not really super prepped. She's like, it's okay, we'll put it down. It's like, cool. So then I got a call the next day. I was like, there's no way. So he just you know, started it really casually, and then he finished a sentence, and he's like, um, so you want to move to New Zealand? And I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, you got Caesar. Wait, you got it in a day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Liam went through this. Yeah, but you're Spartacus, bro. You're carrying it. I just you're had to rock up. Julius Caesar, who's he? <laughs> So that that as I said, it was super rare. So I just wasn't expecting it either, and I lost it. My mum started crying. My dad was there. It was awesome. I had this beautiful moment. Then I had to go. I had to drive to Sydney. I was just about to leave, and I'll never forget getting in the car and I was just pumped. Like yes, I'm playing Caesar. And then I started driving. And I'm like, I'm about to play one of the most famous people in the history of the human race, and it. I was instantly terrified. Like to the point where on my first day shooting that scene, your favorite scene, my first entrance, yeah. where the camera pushes in on me, I was like almost vomiting because I was so nervous. Like I was terrified because I knew that people would think of Caesar and then have a particular preconceived idea of how he should appear. Wait, you thought that vomiting was the choice to go? Yeah. <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> That's the Caesar I know. Yeah. <laughs> So it was a mix, it was strange. Like once I'd shot a couple of days, I felt better, but I felt a lot of pressure to be, have this presence because, you know, he has to have a presence about him. So that was, that was, my, that was my biggest fear with it, but obviously, just, you know, super honoured as well. That's what I figured. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We're nervous. You're going to get yeah, yeah. Congratulations, you asked Todd a question card. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, congratulations. <laughs> Sell that shit. <laughs> yes, question. We talk. So just continuing on what you just stated, Liam, how much pressure was on you stepping into this? Oh, Joe. Oh. Tell them about your process. <laughs> <laughs> well, was that actually is funny. It was kind of different because, yeah, there was a bit of pressure. Um, First of all, it's the worst thing ever. Um, no actor wants to start their career that way. Um, but yeah, so like, I've not really done anything. Like, I've got a credit for the Pacific. I don't think I'm in it. Um, like, you know, I, and so I was used to like maybe going out for the occasional commercial or maybe a tiny role on something. And so this thing comes up. And for the, at the start, I'm like, well, I mean, I'll do it. They won't care. All I, all I ever hoped for was to get, like, someone ringing up going, obviously not getting it. But it was, they actually thought it was good. That was great. That would have been amazing. And so my five-month process, <laughs> um, I mean, the entire time I was like, well, I mean, they'll wake up eventually and go, He's, who is he? Nobody knows who he is. Why would we give him this big role? And so I was kind of just, like, training and just being available and then one day they, in that way it's a similar, like they rang up and they were like, you've got the job one day. And I was like, oh my God, that, that's amazing. And then, oh, I'm replacing like this amazing, because I love the show, I love season one. And so I was like, I'm replacing this guy who I think is amazing and have to try and do justice to the legacy that he's created on this incredible show that's super successful, you know, but I, I worked so hard. So, so for me, I like I, all I could do was try and capture the spirit that he got in. He made Spartacus 
had to have. If I could capture even a bit of that, then I was like, okay, the show can continue. If I was going to copy him, that wouldn't have really worked. I think that would have been a poor facsimile. But so I was, I, and I'd worked so, I've never worked harder in my life at anything ever by a mile. So I was, I, I, like, I, I was, I felt so, I actually felt ready for this challenge. I'm like, I'm going to do this for Andy. I'm going to like make this work. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I've trained, I've practiced, I've worked for months at this. I'm ready. And that first day was the most, eye-opening experience. So I've like, done acting classes where they're like, hey, you have two weeks to learn this scene. And you know, and I hadn't had much on set experience either. So I w- and then suddenly I'm t- I was like in my trailer, psyching myself up, ready, in costume, feeling like, oh my. Who's It was with Mono. Um, <laughs> Mono and Katrina. And um, my, yeah, it, and it was like, I was walking to set confident and a dial- it was just a, I, now it's kind of second nature, but it was like a dialogue coach is like you, you you're comfortable with the with the dialogue. I'm like I'm pretty good with the, like an English thing, and he's like, because you make sure you say this, this, and this. I'm like, Fuck off. okay, dude. Um, and then like I would get in a set, and they're like, all right, Liam, you need to do this, this, and this. And I think about this, and the director would come up, all right, in this scene we're going to do this. Mine would come up, I need this and this and this scene. Katrina would come up and say we need to do this and this and this scene. And I was like. Holy crap! I didn't know what to say anymore. You know, like like you get be- you get better ultimately at owning a character, and I feel like the, my next season was a lot better because I was better at going. You know, and, and because I was, I felt, I felt like I had so much to like. Oh, Andy! I, I, it, it certainly by no sense was it my role. Like I was like, I'm doing this to try and make it work for Andy, kind of thing. And and so when people were like do this and this, I was like, okay, if that's well, yep, all right, sure, I, I, yeah, if that's going to help this show, I'd be good. I, I want to be good. I want to do this right. And so by the second season, I was better at going. You know what? I'm I am Spartacus now. I, I can be Spartacus, and I, I will choose my choices and, and say no when I have to say no, and say yes when I have to say yes, and things like that. But yeah, it was pressure wise. It was. I was surprised at how little pressure I felt because I never thought I'd get it. And when I did get it, it was. I, I tried to turn that pressure into like hope. Like I, I just want to honor this legacy and rather than be, because if I really thought about what I was doing, I wouldn't have even been able to turn up to work. Like it was just so sort of horrible. Like it was so sad what was happening, the reality of it. But to sort of go, well, no, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to make this, I'm going to do this for him. I'm going to make the show work for everyone who loves it. That was, that was all I could think about. And hopefully, I guess people kept watching it. So I, that worked out enough. No, that was a good story. Um, I also want to take a little bit of credit, credit to Liam. Yep. <laughs> it was a, such a long process in, for Liam, and um, and at one point they flew like a few of the people over, and they had to spend a couple of days on set working with the stunt guys and all that kind of stuff. And I remember I um, I saw Rob Tappet walking down the hallway. I was I've been looking for him. I'm like, Rob, Rob, stop, man. We've got to talk. He goes, Yeah, that's the way. Rob. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? I was like. Mate, you got to pick the Aussie. He goes, what? I said, you got to pick the Aussie. you got to pick the Australian guy. We don't want a fucking American on set playing fucking Spartacus. <laughs> because, look, they... You, I'm sorry. I know I'm saying this to a bunch of Americans, but... Yeah, you know, the reputation precedes you. No, no. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, no, it was that um, we, we really wanted to have an Australian there because... Uh, of of the work ethic, and I I really I really I really I, I know I'm offending the fuck out of a lot of you, but you know take some medicine. Um, <laughs> um, and we, we wanted to, I, I really wanted I really wanted um, Rob to choose the Australian, so in the end he did, and I was really happy. <laughs> and I've been paying him ten percent ever since. Um, <laughs> irony though, it was a Canadian and an English guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dusty. That may have been it. That may have I, been meant it. Ca- I meant Canadian. Yeah, because nobody likes them except unless you're Canadian, and we love you. And those Americans, a little weird. I don't know. No, it's uh, thanks, man. That may have made a difference. That may have made a difference. I appreciate it, and here I am. Yay! Appreciate that. Next question. Yeah. I'm up quick. Do you all have a favorite line of your own characters? Jenna, what you got? Yeah, you come cry, on. go on, cry. <laughs> cry, Jenna, cry. <laughs> Boom. Corey, everybody. Corey. 
<laughs> mine, mine would probably just mine would be at the gate where he says now would be time to run. No, I think of a new one. I heard that one. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, the the joking, start I'm joking, of the episode. Did I not tell you you should run? <laughs> <laughs> run. What's yours, Cristiano? Crassus was my favourite one. Hey. Crassus. Not good. Uh, Crash has had a few great ones, didn't he? He did, he really has. Um, my favourite one is probably um, Caesar is a little cock slave. <laughs> Who said that? Crassus. Caesar said, he said what? Crassus said that, didn't he? <laughs> I don't think so. Which show did you watch? <laughs> you can't just make lines up, man. That cut. That cut uh, the final take. Yeah, I must have cut that. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours, Cristiano? Oh, um, do I have one? A bunch. I should probably ask myself that. Yeah. No, I'll tell you, mate. You got a bunch. There's like, you, you can't think. You know, you, you, you're mouthy in episode nine. We're, we're gonna kill you, and you're all like, hey. Yeah, I would have your life. I said it in the last one. I, I would have your life. I will have your life as I took the fucking goals. Yeah, it was rude. Uh, it was a bit rude. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's a good line. Uh, anyway, while you think about it, yeah, I'll think about it. I've uh, got another question. Oh, well, yeah, well, green shirt, green shirt. Yeah. Mint, actually, mint shirt. <laughs> oh, okay, don't worry about it. All right, we got a. Uh... <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, you go, you go. Sounds really good. No, but. TV history. So tell us a little bit about working with Lucy and the war you were Oh, yeah, and and Rob, her husband, created both both those shows. Um, he working with Lucy was uh, fabulous. She is the most uh, down to earth person. What I liked about the series that. It was like she was finally able to show she had some real acting chops, yeah. and she hadn't really had that opportunity in the past. For um, you know, she was kind of this this sort of you know great action hero and heroine, yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, so, so I thought that was uh, a wonderful opportunity for her. And um, but she's just I, I really enjoyed working with her. She's just so down to earth. I mean, all these guys worked with her and she's great presence uh, on the set and um, everyone you know everyone respects her because she she respects you you know and I just really enjoyed working she's just a nice person yeah. like Liam you know same thing nice person Todd <laughs> <laughs> lovely <laughs> yep so thanks question. <laughs> next question boom cutest girl cutest daughter yep excellent Christian, yeah. so you specifically asking Christian if he didn't train. Oh, oh, so like, you guys obviously trained, but you... <laughs> <laughs> you guys did like fighting, like, almost the whole entire time. You guys obviously had more seasons of fighting and training. Obviously. But, you know, okay, we'll take your first born and you can sit down. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't know if you can see him, but there's a guy out there named Tyrone Bell, um, and he's got shoulders the size of this stadium. You don't not train when he's around. Um, but we all went through an initiative. Pro it was a four month. It was, you know, the, it was the notorious four week boot camp that we all did. And that was the first day that I'd actually met the guys. Todd and I walked in, um, and Al Poppleton, who's an incredible stunt yeah. coordinator, was in charge of that, and a lot of the stunt guys who have. You know, they've gone on to do some proper A-list jobs. Yeah, to Murray, with, did, with, yeah. You know, he, we got Jake Murray, who was Gattaca's stunt double, was on to... He's, 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 Mad he's Max. Tom Hardy's double for pretty much everything down Mad Max and The Revenant and all that kind of stuff. So these guys, we're training with these big boys, and it was four weeks of five hours a day training, um, and that kind of forged that bond and that friendship. I wouldn't have been able to have the connection that I did with the boys and with, with Corey and, and everyone else. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the girls ladies were trained, and I, and I tell you now, the ladies trained the same hours, the same circuits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm talking, they were flipping the same tyres as us. Yeah. Yeah. For the same amount of time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which was, in, yeah, but, yeah. you know, yeah. it was incredible. So that, you know, put us in, in a certain I remember that time, like, like, Ellen, we had to do the sleds. 
Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Ellen would, would cut a bitch. Like, she's like... She's, she's <laughs> yeah, like, Ellen's yeah. super sweet and lovely. Yeah. She'll knife you to death <laughs> before you even realise Her house is happening. full so of... Like, <laughs> like, that's not a joke. Like, we say a lot of bullshit. That's yeah. probably the one serious thing that actually would happen. Yeah. Steve must be terrified every minute of every day. <laughs> Steve's deadly too. Yeah, I know, but he, wouldn't, he would never hurt her. So he would just yeah. sit there and just get knifed to death. He just wear it. <laughs> yeah, it's Mr. And Mrs. Smith. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then after after so then it became yeah you know, we'd start shooting and a lot of us would go you know we'd be on set at five thirty six o'clock and we'd get the drivers at seven pm to take us straight to the gym before we'd yeah. go and we'd go to bed at nine o'clock and then, I don't know how we were doing it because at seven o'clock at night we'd be taking double doses of pre workout which is like eight shots. Yeah, that was a good idea. We would have to we actually got to the point where we would have to specifically time it. I would. Smash it at about 4, 4.30, so that by the time we finished set, got in the car, and hit the gym, we were peeking on the bad work. so smart. So we could train. I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just remember the first time Simon took pre-workout. <laughs> <laughs> it was called Rip Freak. <laughs> Rip Freak. <laughs> That's the best news. He's in the car on the way home, and he's like, his British accent, he's like, what is this Rip Freak? Oh, Rip Freak? Yeah, I don't yeah. know if this is a good idea. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the next day, it was wasn't a good idea. No, I try to find those those substances. They're not, you know, growth hormone or anything like that. But you won't find them anymore because they've realised that they <laughs> take them off the shelves. Yeah. yeah, I found out later. Um, <laughs> this is not a good thing to admit. Um, oh, while I was asleep, I may have tried to attack my own Aaron because <laughs> I, I was in during the day all the time. I've been learning fights. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had a free workout, and because my I would be asleep, but clearly my brain wasn't asleep. I think I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "What the shit? What is it?" And then I would get upset because in the morning she'd be like, "You tried to punch me in the face," and I'd be like, "I was asleep. I didn't try to do anything. Don't you start? I was no." I was, I mean, sorry, but it's, I can't really say sorry for something. I was asleep. Again, I, I can't stress that enough. I was not malicious. Did I hit? I didn't. So I didn't hit you, so it's perfectly fine. I've had like one story where apparently she was like just waking up and she's like, I'm like, like some sort of temple of doom stuff. Like she just rolls out of the way. I'm like, I'm like, it's like Jekyll and Hyde or something. Like, I'm, like I'm sleepwalk, some sort of sleep ninja. But yeah, I was like, kind of. That's probably not a good idea. Let's not take that anymore. That's probably got too much caffeine in it. I'd say. I'm back! Next clip, yeah. Well. Spartacus 2, the Revenge of Spartacus. <laughs> from the grave, zombie stars from the grave. Like, oh, it's a spin-off The Walking Dead, but they go back in time. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty great. <laughs> Todd's not in it, but the rest is up. Um, <laughs> had to recast. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I had the I had the mic and the Dusty would have said it, but I don't see it. Thanks, guys. I love you. <laughs> you too. Um, you, I, you serious? Man? I did a film with Antonio Banderas and Sir Ben Kingsley. Drop that name. Um, so that was cool. And I'm in a video game. Uh, I have a series coming out here October 10 called Wolf Creek, and it's on uh, Pop which is owned by CBS and Lionsgate, so I have no fucking idea which cable network or how the yeah. fuck you find it. <laughs> Good luck, just press your buttons until you, until you find it. <laughs> Wolf Creek, yeah, it's based on the Australian films uh, Wolf Creek, you might know, with John Jarrett, and it's a series. It's like a, it's a horror, it's damn good. What are you doing, Jen? Nothing yet, I'm auditioning at the moment. Yeah. Watch this face. Yeah. Watch this face. <laughs> we go back to like really exciting time. We yeah. got. A, I don't know. Strike back out in the states yet? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. Oh don't. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Let's say our third yeah. show together. Yeah. yeah. yeah but we, like, once again, we never like we didn't have seen. We were eight again. months shooting, and we were, we saw each other once on set and once in a hotel. And same with it. Enzo girls and Spartacus really. Yeah. Never really had seen. Yeah. Mm. Do you explain that to me or what? <laughs> yeah, I particularly always ask the producers, I say, if Christian is going to be working on this show, I don't want to do a scene with him. <laughs> so I said the exact same thing. <laughs> this is crazy. No. Oh man, I love how this works. No, no, no. I hate you. Yeah, I hate you now. I hate you now. <laughs> oh, I just, I think I mentioned this, I just finished doing The Flash. Um, <laughs> 
Just in a couple of episodes, um, playing the weather wizard. This could be you one day, mate. This could be you one day, mate. Yes, I get some cards. You gotta get some dog so cards. I'm in the premiere, like, the, sorry, the first two episodes. Um, so I just can't, this, I'm going to get in trouble if I say Don't anymore. say anything, mate. Apparently I can't say anything. I'm shit. not going to let you say nothing. I'm going to throw this mic in your face. Okay. And I did Vampire Diaries. I'm, I'm, I'm that's Greg Belanti. I'm going to be your Greg Belanti. That's Belanti's already been going. No. Other than that, yeah, that's all. <laughs> I just audition. Yeah, it, yeah, that's our life. It's like, do a roll. Yeah, I got a roll. Woo, finish. Un Unemployed. Yeah. Unemployed. <laughs> no money's coming at all. Yeah, don't want it. Who needs money? It's boring. No, it it's boring. It's like being a contractor. Yeah, the back. Yeah. Thank you, Brad, for all your comments. Thank you. Really appreciate you guys really inspiring me to start acting again. Woo! Yes. Yeah, boy. That's awesome. The show's been done for three years. We want SpartaCon too. And I have to ask you, Todd, why, why was it not a season? I mean, I'm sure you were pretty sure if you wanted to. Why was it not a season spinoff? Ooh. I actually don't. I actually That's a question for, like, Rob Tappet and stars. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, literally. I, I think it was more to do refused. with... I thought it was... I could be wrong. You guys would be able to tell me more, more to do with Stephen Denight in the sense that he had another series that he was working on that he was working on for, like, two years and the stars was going to pick up didn't happen. Didn't happen, so, but he'd spent all that time working on it and then got slipped up into Daredevil. So it was kind of like this this weird transition where after Spartacus he wanted to finish it at its peak. Because a lot of shows, you know, yeah. start to slip and then they go, oh, we're going to put it off air because it's not really going well. He was like, right, it's at its max. Especially because they brought, like, more interesting characters in by the last season, you know what I mean? Just to, just to beef it up a little. <laughs> If, if they'd offered it, yeah, for sure. If they do, if they do do it, I think it'd be something I'd seriously look at. For sure. I mean, I awesome. begged Rob not yeah. to do it. I begged him, say like, you're just gonna have Todd for years and years. Like, can you imagine? Like, one year was a lot. <laughs> Obviously, enough to stop the show. <laughs> uh, you got the call of the day. That was amazing. That was beautiful. Wasn't it? Wasn't that it? was good. That was funny. Get a hashtag going with the show. Who knows what happens? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Todd. The peer pressure made me say things like that don't mean. <laughs> We've got one minute. Two minutes. Let's go. Yes, ladies here. Yep, go. Um, just Yeah. Hi, Todd. Um, how difficult was And to add on to that, I think that it's uh, the ANU, a university in Australia, are actually starting to do um, some research in psychology behind acting and the toll that, um, and psychologically, what it might do to um, our brains because um, our bodies cannot dif differentiate between, say, what's happening. Um, uh, our brains can, but our bodies are still taking on the yeah the, the effects of what you're going through. So um, there's some interesting research, I think, being done into that space, and we're going to um, probably understand more about it in, in time to come. Yeah, well, with that, a lot of the girls were talking about... Uh, the girls get together and talk about sex scenes. Um, no, uh, a lot of we were talking about, you know, some of the, like, violent scenes and stuff like that, about how your brain knows what's going on, that it's acting, but your body... It took a while. So it does take a while to shake it all off after the fact, but that's the thing. I remember you and I had a scene the day after we did a... Great scene, and I couldn't remember fucking word, neither could you. Oh, remember yeah. that, that was the day after we shot that, and I ended up just in tears afterwards. That's right. And I came out, and Jesse was like, It's just because you just got to shake off yesterday, but you know, because you were doing that yesterday, I was like, Oh, yeah. Well, chemically, you release those. Yeah. 
That's what happens when we go through emotional change. It's not like we choose to do it. It's a chemical shift in your body. And those, those toxins do stay around, you know. That's why a lot of disease and things happens too, and because of the, chem the toxins in our body. So when you go through those heavy emotional things, I thought you were, you were great with it. Jenna was good. Like some days you'd have to stay in it for most of the day, and then other days you could just sort of switch in and out. It would depend. Yeah. It would also, it varies too. It depends on if you have quick, sh they try to shoot it quickly, they try to, then they do ca reset up where they set the cameras up for another angle. Yeah. So sometimes you might have five minutes or half an hour. Yeah. So you go, well, do I stay in it for five minutes or do I pull out for 25 and then go back in for five, it's, yeah, you'd have to change it, I don't Yeah, mean. and that depends because you don't want to sort of like, if you're staying in it for the whole time, you know, there's a certain point where you just have no more tears, so you just, you're like just there, so you have to sort of like figure out at what point in the day are you at what level. Yeah. 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 Quick one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As much as I love the show, and it obviously has a lot of awesome female characters, it doesn't do the best job with the national test. Um, and I was wondering if you could have had a scene with any of the other female actors on the show, who would you have liked to have one with? I did have one with Cynthia. Yeah. Like yeah. Ellen, you did oh, Ellen. Yeah, yeah. Because we've always, we've had conversations that we reckon that Sax and Corey would be best mates. Because <laughs> yeah. you know, because Sax is such a machine that you'd, she'd, and Corey would be like, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know because in my season there was. I mean, let's think. There was there was Cynthia, there was Anna as well. Um, yeah, any one of them that would have been awesome. Ina. Ina and Gina. Ina and Gina. Yeah. Yeah. But I reckon, yeah, probably, probably sex. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. She takes Corey hat. That's how. That's how she learned. She actually did have a scene with her back then. <laughs> yeah. Do you got last one? Yeah. And yeah. um, this is for Dustin Flair. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Thanks for coming. Yeah. You know, you know it is. Their panel, which is kind of. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the big hair that you had uh, on the show was it? Or was it a wig? Oh, or was it your hair? Yeah, I got it. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it was mine. And once, I, I have massive respect for all the females uh, in the audience who have long hair because, um, God, as soon as I finished it, I was just like, cut this shit off my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a pain in the ass. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, so I was good to go. Oh, it was pretty. <laughs> Do you have a mullet strike back there? Yeah, filthy mullet. <laughs> Thank you again, guys. You're friggin' awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Thanks for letting us crash your party, guys. Cheers. <laughs>